Hi right, guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you NECO data processing practical on how to use MS Word. So in NECO practical, one of the practical questions they normally bring is on MS Word. Then the other one is on database. It could be it could be MS Access or MS Excel and a graphic package, which could be Corredro or any other uh, graphic packages so for this uh, I'm going to use the MS Word the question one on MS Word so we're going to look uh, look through that and look at the questions and the uh, activity they ask us to do here and also I, I can walk you through uh, to see all other um, things that you can actually do with this uh, package so let's uh, look through the question the questions you use your computer to answer all your answers. No content of your work should be identical to any other candidate's work. You are required to print out the hard copy or copies of your work. Use Microsoft Word to perform the tax below. Write a formal letter to the registrar or chief exec executive of National Examination Council stating three ways examination malpractice is carried out at examination centers the number of paragraphs in this letter should be four okay so what i'm going to do is this i i am not interested in uh, typing um the letter i'll just have to type out um i just have to type out any piece of uh information then on that information i'll work out the applications or the instructions they ask us to carry out so i'm going to open a new document they will just switch between the two documents to, so that we can read the question and see so i'll just copy a test i'll copy a test and uh, put it there on this uh here i'll just copy a test and put it there and then work out whatever they ask us to do on that so that will just be uh what i'm going to do so i'm not typing this but i'll just copy but you are required to type and it's just the uh, formatting and all other uh, applications I want to show on this video. Okay, so this is basically uh, a letter that I've written. I just uh, drop uh, uh, this here, just copy and paste this here. We can see as just what the letter has to be four paragraphs, and uh, you can see the. Uh, the closing remarks and all of that yet yeah, that's not the important thing the, is the format because this year may ask you to write something different but we we'll just look at the format so let's go back to the question and see what they ask us to do so um so the applications are format the entire letter font size to 12. so i'm going to format that to 12. so how do i format that to 12. just uh come to this place Press Control from your keyboard. Press Control A. That will select everything. Then come to this uh, part here, here, and select 12. So that gives it font uh, font size 12. So that's that's how you get your font size 12. Then let's go back to the instructions again. So what I did, I said use Control A. Control A selects everything. Then let's go back to the question again. Then we are asked to align sender's address to the right. So my address, I'm going to send that to the right. So I'm just going to remove everything. Then I'm going to put my cursor on this. I light this only. Then I'm sending it to the right. In fact, you see this uh, this uh, pops up. Or you can come to this part here. Here, this is the right align here. So you can see it. Once you point on it, that's, how, that's the beauty of the uh, the applications here because you have they are graphical user you can just point to them and they direct you so that's right online so i'm going to click on that so that's i sent it to the right okay then another way you can do that is to use your keyboard you can also use control arrow on your keyboard when you press control arrow that takes you to that gives you the uh, right align okay so for this uh video it's not a, the purpose of this video is not how well constructed the letter is or that i just want to show you how you can apply the uh, applications 
that you are asked to apply to this. Next, three, italize the salutation. Okay, the salutation should be dear sir or dear ma, whatever the case may be. So here, I'm coming to this place. So this is the salutation here, dear register or chief executive. I'm going to highlight it this way. Okay, then I'm going to italize it. You can use Control I. You can use Control I. You can use Control I, or you can use this if you are using the latest version. On you can use Control I from here, or you can go to bar here and you click on Italize here. So these are numerous ways you can do that. So you can do it from here, or you just select the test. If you are using the latest version, it pops up here. Then you click on it. Or you next, let's go to the next part. Then we are to type the heading in uppercase and set center aligns and bold it. So we're going to type the heading in uppercase. So how do I type that? This our this is already typed in lowercase. So to type in our uh, uppercase, before typing, you can just depress your caps lock key. Ensure that the uh, caps lock key is on then you start to type ways of but if you have already typed that you without uh, pressing your caps lock key, you can just select all the tests okay so let me remove from both i'll add it to bed again then you're from your keyboard press shift f3 continue to press shift f3 until all the tests are in caps lock so shift f3 shift plus f3 will take everything to uh, caps lock if you have not uh, you are not typing it caps lock then we have to bold it so come to this place you click on bold or you from your key keyboard you press control plus b together so that's going to make it bold so you can see it control plus bold or you can click it from here or select this test when you select this test if you're using the latest version it pops up here and you see both here just click on it then we're also to to central align it so you can central align from here so you can see it center or you use control select the test you have to select the test or you use control e so control e will move it to the center or you use this key this uh, option here so you have control e okay now you may be asked to change the font to change the font here we are not asked to change the font, but if you ask to change for you can come to this place and click on it and select your font from here you can type the first letter of the font to uh, get the to is uh, get a quick access to that font okay for example let's say um vendana so i'll type v so you can see vendana pops up here then you can search for it on this part here which is this but we are not asked to do that let's see if we have the instruction to do that on this so let's go to the next one the next one is okay so we're done with that center align and boot so we're not asked to use any test then the next one is to apply test watermarks as follows so the watermarks the test should be official you are going to type official in there then you are going to use the layout is going to be diagonal so the official should be in caps lock so let's go to the uh, test and add a watermark on that so what you do is to add a watermark now you can make use of all of these uh, main headings here so you can make use of home insert under insert you can um search for whatever you want to search for or under design okay so under design when you go to design here you can see watermark here so you can see it here so the watermark it's on design i said if you don't get it if you don't if you can't get it just go to insert and search through all of this here and check whether you can find it if you don't find it you go to draw and check on the on it so you can actually search these things if you don't know where they are. So if you go to design, you search through color, you can see, you're going to see all of them here. If you don't find it in design, you go to layout and check that and find, check all of these. Re mailings, review, 
view and all of this just check them one after the other if you can't find them but here it's in design so that's uh, the best way you can go because it's user gratified interface once you click on any of these you are going to find whatever you're looking for on all of these so this is watermark here so i'm going to click on it so we're going to customize it because we're asked to use official so you're going to come uh, go to custom watermark let me take that again go to watermark let me take that again i'll go back to home you click on design like i said i said if you cannot find if you can't remember where it is just take your cursor and click on any of these and then check up the drop the, uh, the drop down menus on that and find it so it's on design because in this yes exam you may not be asked to use watermark okay so that's why i'm saying all of this so just click on this so this is confidential do not copy confidential so this is diagonal but you need a custom watermark so i'm going to click on custom watermark so on here see there's no watermark you see picture watermark here if you need a picture then you can select your picture from here but here we have to use test so i'm going to use test watermark and the test is going to be typed there so i'm going to remove asap and type official there i actually copied the official from uh the other uh, the test there and I copied it and placed it there. So you can you may be asked to type the type of font, but you are not asked to do that. So if you're asked to type the type of font, you can see there. Just click on this uh, drop down uh, menu here. You get uh, the type of test that you're looking for. If if you want to search for the test, just delete this and type let's say Times New Roman. And okay, click on that. So it's going to take you to Times New Roman immediately. So we're not told uh, about the size so the size is auto but you can be given size and you search the size there, or you delete auto and type the size there let's say 40 and click enter so you're going to get 40. so you can see my official here but i'm going to make it auto so i'm going back again custom watermark so it's official so i'm going to take the test to auto okay now you are not asked to add a color but you can choose a color for yourself if you uh if you want to or let's go back and see if we're asked to add a color okay let me remove this so the test is official the layout is just dark there no color net nothing it's just the test but I've shown you what to do if you are to add um, color or test. So you can get there from the watermark, the constant watermark, official. So it's already in diagonal. So if it's uh, to be horizontal, you change it to or, uh, horizontal. So it's diagonal. So I'm going to change the this to automatic, auto, because we're not asked to do any of that thing. So we're not asked to add any of that thing. So I'll just click apply then i'll click on close so we are done with the watermark now you can see the watermark underneath it official okay so let's go to the next application drop cap the first letter of each paragraph to two lines okay so what that means is that we'll go to the paragraph so the first paragraph is here the first letter so i'm going to select it then i'll go to insert on the search you get drop card if you can't uh, if you can't do that if you can't do that again search just click on each of these items here and search through them you get that there so this is drop cap here so let me go back to the question and see again we have to drop cap the first letter of each paragraph to two lines within test but we are giving the number of lines we have to keep click on drop cap options okay then you come to this place you click on this you can either click on that then the, you are going to click on this because you are dropping the lines so the number of line drop is two so i'm going to come to this place and take it to two okay then i'll click on okay so that's the first that's the first one there okay so to do uh, for the other one you can just uh, use format painter just select this and click on the format painter i button here 
or you go to a home go go to home and this is it here so click on it and select the first test. so it's going to apply to that again click on select on the format painter then click on this so that's going to drop it two lines then again click on the format painter then click on this so that's how you select drop cap for each of the test two lines for each of the first test so next let's see what they ask us to do again so we've dropped capped all the first uh, the first letter of each paragraph to two lines then align the body of the letter using justify so the body of the letter is the main body of the letter this uh this so what i'm going to do is this just select the letter itself so let's select that okay this is the main body so to justify you either use Control J from your keyboard, Control plus J, or you come to this icon here and click on it. So that's going to justify the test. So let me do that with keyboard. I will undo that by clicking Control plus J. So it's undone. Then I'll press Control plus J from this. So that's uh, justify. Okay. Let's see if there's any other tax they ask us to do on this. So the next is to type your full name and registration number as the footer. Okay. So to uh, apply a footer. So I'm going to ap apply a footer. So like I said go to insert so you see header and footers here so most of these are uh, applications will be found either on insert design and layout so just click on them if you don't know where they are just click on all of these and search for it so this is your header and this is your footer so i'm going to click on footer so i'm going to write uh click on any of these i'll click on this so i'm going to type here so type here i'm going to type you science okay so that's the uh, footer so i don't have a number you can type your number if you wish to and registration number as the footer so let me just uh include a registration number for that let's say Neko slash twenty twenty four slash whatever o o o o two four five. Well, okay. So so that's that. So that's my footer for this okay so uh that's i think that's all the tags we uh, asked to complete let's see if we have every other thing okay print out the hard copies and then um, state two precautions taking while performing tax in a1 okay so these are basically what we asked to do you can